everyone, it's me, Asadi Tripathi from Standard 9 and I'm standing in front of you all to give my presentation on the topic which is the most important chapter of chemistry that is matter in our surrounding. This chapter is very interesting it, and it is also very important chapter of chemistry. In this chapter basically we are going to study about the matter, that what is matter, the classifications and all the subtopics which come in this topics. So the very first thing is that what is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has some mass. Means any object or any body in the universe which has some mass and occupies some space is considered as matter. For example, I am having this marker. This marker is having some mass and also it occupies some space because if I am going to keep it on my palm, so it generally it is going to occupy some space. So this is a matter. Uh, similarly, everything present around us, likewise trees are there, this board is there, these all have mass and they also uh, occupy some space. So they are considered as matter. Now, if, um, now uh, is there anything which is not considered as matter? Yes. Like uh, we, are, we see light. Uh, we are, I'm not talking about the light bulb. I'm talking about the light rays which come off, uh, which comes from the light. That light, yes, we can see that light, but that light is not considered as matter because it does not have mass and it does not occupy space. So light is not considered as matter. The second is sound. Uh, as I'm speaking here, um, I am matter. I am speaking, so I am matter because I'm having mass and also I occupy space. But the sound which I'm producing that is not a matter because the sound is not having, uh, it does not have mass and it does not occupy space. So it is not considered as matter. And the next is heat. Heat which we see that uh, like uh, let's suppose if I'm having a glass of milk and that milk is hot. So if I'm going to hold it in my and uh, hold it in my hand, so the heat. Uh, yes, I'm going to feel that heat, but that heat is not considered as matter because that heat is not having uh, mass and it does not occupy space. So heat is not considered as matter. Likewise, we are having some feelings and emotions like uh, the feeling of love, affection, sadness, happiness. These all the things are, yes, we can feel these things, but this is not considered as matter because they do not occupy space and they do not have mass. So these are the things which do not have matter. So this was about the matter that what is matter, what are the substance which is considered as matter and what are the things which are not considered as matter. Now there is a classification of matter that is solid. Matter is classified on the basis of chemical state and physical state. So basically in this chapter we are going to study about the physical state uh, and uh, they are classified as solid, liquid and gas. These solid, liquid and gas are considered as matter. Now the question may arise is this yes, for the solid we may think that yes it is a matter because it is having mass and also it occupies space. This marker is a solid, it has a mass and also it occupies a space. This board is a solid, it has a mass and occupies space so it is a matter. Now what if we talk about liquid and gas? For liquid, let's suppose if a boy is there whose name is Rohan and he is carrying a bucket uh, and he, uh, he have to move from point A to point B. So easily he can move from point A to point B, that bucket is empty, nothing is there in that, uh, in that bucket. Now second what we do that uh, uh, we have filled the water in that bucket and now Rohan has to take that bucket filled with water from point A to point B. Now the bucket, now he, uh, what he is going to observe that the weight of that bucket which he has hold is now increases. Why? Because we have added liquid in that and that liquid is having some mass because of that the mass increases of the bucket. So uh, from this activity we can consider as the liquid is having mass and uh, uh, now what about the space? Let's suppose uh, in, the, in that same bucket, we have filled the water there and now if uh, I want to fill a glass of milk in that. So if I'm going to fill a glass of milk in that, uh, so uh, if that, uh, that bucket is completely filled of water. If I'm going to add a, a cup of uh, milk in that, that milk is obviously it is going to overflow from the bucket. Why? Because that uh, bucket is completely filled. It means that the milk requires an, um, space to be there in that bucket. So if this activity proves that the liquid is having, uh, liquid occupies a space. So from these activities, it is we consider that liquid is having the mass and also it occupies space so liquid is considered as matter now what if we talk about gas for gas we need to perform an activity which is quite interesting also let's suppose this is a marker and uh, i have hold a balloon in that pair of balloon that is two balloon here and two balloon here the both balloon um, and in the both balloon I have filled the air. This marker will be in the straight mode only, likewise it is having a uh, holding. But now what if I remove, uh, but what if I release the air from the pair, one pair of the balloon? Like was when we used to go for the shopping, the vegetable vendor what he used to do, uh, he used to just for, in order to make, um, in order to, uh, 
measure the quantity of the vegetable or fruit whatever we have gone for uh, purchasing there he used to just use a tarazu that is called uh, in the front side it is the bat and in the second side it is the vegetable or fruit which we have kept over there so uh, what uh, so if the vegetable is of the same uh, is of the same weight as the what is there so the both will be in the same in this position the the stick will neither be move nor uh, it will not move um, but what if the uh, weight of the vegetable increases so it will get tilted over the uh, where the weight is more so same case is here also when i have tied the pair of balloon both the sides when i release the air from one pair of the balloon what happen my air got, my uh, this pen will got tilted like this like if i'm having this uh, rod here and i have a uh, these two balloons i have hang over here in this uh, in this balloon air is present but in this air is not present so what will happen this stick will bend like this it will bend uh, like like this why because the mass here is greater so uh, from this we consider it as as the air is filled in this balloon so it means that air is having a mass and when we feel that uh, air in the balloon the mass of the balloon will increase there here also balloon is there but air is not filled here so that is why its mass is not uh, uh, that is why uh, its mass is less because here air is not filled although here also balloon is there but here uh, air is filled so its mass is greater and the stick will tilt like this so it was the activity which it is it was the activity which was used to show that yes air is also having mass the second activity for proving that it occupies a space for that what we need to do is we uh, we need to take a glass here and in this glass in the bottom we have to uh, apply the cotton here we have to put cotton in this stuff and uh, then after we have to take a beaker which is filled of water it, uh, in this water is filled up of and keep this water in this way this is a cotton and this is a glass and we have to pour this uh, water in the bucket what will happen now the water will uh, in this in this case the cotton will not be wet why because uh, because this liquid will not be uh, pass up to here it will not reach up to at the point of that why because see the water although water will go inside the uh, like, uh, in, although the uh, water will go inside the uh, glass but it will not reach the top it will maybe it will reach up to here only this is the reason that this glass is filled up of gas of uh, air and this air has occupies the space and because of lackness of space this liquid is unable to pass to here and it's because of that only this is not uh, the uh, the cotton is not wet it's uh, the cotton is not wet what but what if it tilt this water so what happened the air inside this uh, the air inside of this glass will uh, release from the air and then after the uh, this uh, water will move up to here and wet the cloth so uh, from this activity we considered as the gases is having the mass also and it occupies a space also so this was all about today this was all about from my side thank you everyone